The National Restaurant Association's Restaurant Performance Index in May was 101.4. The index remained in positive uh, territory, but did ease back slightly from April's level. In general, restaurant operators uh, remain optimistic about their current conditions, uh, as well as future expectations. But in general, that optimism and future expectations are dampened uh, by the current economic climate. Operators reported positive same-store sales increases for the 12th consecutive month. But in general, when you look at their expectations for their future, particularly business conditions, uh, that did ease somewhat. Regarding what's gone on with restaurant industry employment in May, uh, the industry did add another 7,100 positions. Uh, the rate of growth has eased, as one would expect, as mirrors the national economic conditions. And when you look at restaurant industry employment growth uh, in May compared to year earlier levels, the industry has actually added jobs at a 2.8% rate, uh, which is more than double the national increase of 1.4%. On the wholesale food price inflation front, wholesale food prices actually did ease in May. Uh, they posted a half a percent decline. Uh, that's the first time in three months. When one looks at the levels, though, they're still elevated. For example, wholesale food price inflation this year is running at a 2.9% rate, uh, which is a substantial improvement from the 8.1% rate last year. Uh, but the price levels still remain elevated compared to historical. Uh, when one looks at different commodity groups, for example, uh, beef, chicken prices, uh, those commodities are up near double digits uh, compared to levels of the prior year. Summer is obviously a very important time for the restaurant industry regarding travel and tourism. Roughly about one out of every four restaurant dollars is travel and tourism related. And August is actually the peak sales volume month uh, for the industry overall. So what goes on in the travel and tourism arena is very important to how restaurant sales progress. So when one looks at the travel and tourism environment this summer, it is solid. Business travel growth rates uh, are up compared to last year, as are leisure travel growth rates. And the number of international visitors to the United States this year uh, will actually reach a record high. And it's very important for those international visitors where they go in the United States because their travel dollars actually do aid restaurant industry sales growth. In fact, for the first four months of this year, international visitor spending uh, is up by 13% compared to the same period prior year. So in sum, the Restaurant Industry Performance Index 101.4 remains in positive territory but eases a little. Wholesale food price inflation actually drops in May, but the levels still are up 2.9% over prior year. And tourism is a very important driver of restaurant industry sales growth, and the environment is positive for travel and tourism this year in the United States. So don't forget, for additional information, visit our website, restaurant.org. Thank you.